what I like to uh, remind traders is that that it that that idea depends on you know what type of time frame you're looking at. If we were to look at this time frame in uh, June uh, 18th and June 19th, and we uh, looked at where the market uh, started to trend to the downside here, started to trend to the downside somewhere around this area, around the 127.11 area, and the market trended all the way to the downside, moved down to 125, I don't know, 60 or 50-something you know, down here. Pretty good trend move to the downside right no, no one would uh, no one would say that this is not a trend in fact look at all the candlesticks are red 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 a little green one here red 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 all the way down that's a trend to the downside isn't it now we have this period of non-trending where the market has some green has some red and then, then we get this period of green candles in the market trends the upside so and where do we trend back to right around that 27 11 area right here so if someone was looking at this chart and looking at this um this market right here uh from a longer term perspective maybe from a daily daily perspective they would say oh well the market's not trending we um we had this uh you know this move to the downside move to the upside basically changed over a two-day period at the same low same high you know what's the difference you know this market is non-trending but for for me i see a trend a non-trend a trend you know, and most of the time i spend in a trending market over this time period right here so so you know don't get caught up with this idea that the market only trends 30% of the time. No, there's, there's trends all over the place in the mar market. And you as a trader have to be able to see those trends. One thing that we don't really uh, know uh, from you know, even this, this activity right here is will the market uh, continue the trend to the downside here? Will the market continue to uh, reverse and trend the other way we don't really know that and there are clues in the market that will uh, market and using market tools that will tell you that you know this trend was over uh this move to the downside was over you know one of them was this you know move back about maybe holding above the 200 this green line is a 200 bar simple moving average uh, the fact that it held against this level here held against this level here move back above the 100 which is this blue line right here and and get Guess what? You know, it couldn't trend anymore. We couldn't get below the 200 hour moving average. You can't get below the 200 hour moving average. Guess what it's going to do? Um, it's going to move back above the 100. If it stays above the 100 like it did right here, it's going to move back higher from there. This is the importance of using technical tools, importance of, uh, uh, of, uh, the, uh, of following what the market is saying. Now, uh, Boinky, Boinky says, and then my point point is that daily would show non-trending, and you're absolutely right. But you know, trending uh, in non-trending, this is trending uh, non-trending on a daily chart. Um, on the hourly chart, I would love to catch this move. I would love to catch this move, and there's some clues in the market that actually gave me, gave me. So it all depends upon the perspective that you're looking at. That's why I'm, I'm always looking for uh, for trending markets, trending markets. In my trade, and what I what I will do then is look for the market to tell me when the market is not trending. And in this chart right here, the market was saying, "Well, the trend was over when it couldn't get below the 200, when it started to move back above the 100, when it started to hold the 100." It was saying, "Well, this market is really not trending anymore. Uh, in fact, it has a potential to move the other way." And that's exactly what it did here. Now let's take a look at a longer term uh, chart and take a look at uh, this uh, act type of activity and trying to find trends and non-trends. And so this is a daily chart. What we saw in the month of February, March, and April was largely a different market than we saw in May. I mean, we saw uh, in February, March, and April, we saw down, up, down, up, down, up. And in May, we saw this market, nice little trend, trending, long-term trend to the downside. And what have we seen, seen since that time? We've seen up, down, up, down, and today we actually making a little bit more of a break to the downside, aren't we here? But uh, but uh, it, it doesn't necessarily mean this doesn't necessarily mean that it's this just yet. It may be. I mean, we're moving lower here today, but but we're in this this type of area in here, uh, right here here so far. Uh, we don't know how far it will go, whether it's going to trend, it could continue to trend, have something move like this 
to the downside, but what we know is that this looks different than, than this, and this looks different than this. Uh, this looks very similar to this, as a matter of fact. So, so these are different types of markets. These are different, uh, 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 different markets. One is trending and one is non-trending, recognizing what type of market. market here and it's going to give you so an idea of how to trade that market. And so traders need to trade uh the yellow trends um you know trend to the upside, trend to the downside, trend to the upside, trend to the downside, trend to the upside small than this the, these than these types of moves than the green trends. This is still trending. This is trending, 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 and this is trending, trending. But th this type of activity is much different than this. And so what I try to do is trade or have a different mindset for the different types of uh, markets that, um, that you, uh, that we, we experience, trending or non-trending, and how to approach those markets, how to trade those markets and there's a different way for each specifically traders what i like to say is this is that traders need to fall in like with these types of markets and fall in love with these types of markets the green markets those bigger trending markets these little trending markets are the fall in like markets these types of trending markets are where you want to fall in love with the market. And typically what you what you will see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that when the market has a is trading in a fall in like type range for an extended period of time, it'll it'll transition into a fall in love type type market where you want to love being short for an extended period of time and get those bigger moves in the trend. But in these fall in like stages, uh they they will uh they will have these mini trend trends, trends along the way that you have to Trade a little bit differently. You want to be in like with it, not be in love with it. 